It is 9.35. We're going to start our meeting for monthly department heads. It's Tuesday, July 30th, 2024. What happened to July? It's already gone. We're going to be creative today, and we're going to go clockwise around the room. So we're going to start with Randy right here and just give us a kind of the lowdown on what's going on in your department. Uh, we're just taking care of basic maintenance right now. I'm uh, about a power washer. I'm going to be coming on a, in on a Saturday and take care of the front entry and get that all power washed and cleaned up and patched up and painted before winter. It's uh, give it a little bit of help. I got one side done and it looks good, but I got the other two to, to do yet and do the ramp and the going down to the basement also before winter. So get that kind of cleaned up. It's looking kind of sad right now. And then when I get the, the tool shed out back started Monday get that built before winter and get it all done. So we have a place to store salt this year instead of going across the way there. We're going to expand the fence around it so it'll be secure. And when you're done, we'll be able to take people to the woodshed. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. If you need a place to lock them up, it'll be ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> Other than that, just basic, basic stuff. Take care of lots of little things during the day. Okay. And still enjoying Idaho. Absolutely. <laughs> Best decision you ever Yep. Yeah, I snuck uh, Two months ago, I snuck down to California for a few days and got twitchy about the third day. I was ready to come home. So. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a beautiful place. I'm glad to be here. Good to have you. And Bodie's happy to be here, too. Bodie's happy to be here. <laughs> Carol, welcome back. Thank you. What's Thank happening? You. There? Let's get down in the weeds today. The weeds are good. Um, pretty, our contractor's pretty much finished spraying for the spring spraying. Um, he did the four county shops, the airport, the transfer station, uh, guardrails, and uh, some right of ways. So, so he was got a lot of ground covered. Um, it's a possibility we might be able to get him back for a day in the fall, but I'm not sure. He, he said he'd be willing if he can. He does a lot of spraying for the um, for the Forest Service and the other agencies and the logging companies. So he's pretty well bumped up. But we'll see if we if we can get him for a day. That'd be great. But I've uh, been organizing the weed shed, it's, uh, needed it, um, uh, sent the um, job posting information to Tracy, and uh, so if anyone knows anybody looking for a job, um, it's pretty much full time during the summer months, but then in the winter it's a few hours a month, it's, it's not much in the winter, but, but uh, yeah, just looking for a replacement for Shelby. We were, we were so happy with how things were. <laughs> <laughs> things are going well. Things are going really well. So, so yeah, I want to um, address some of the county-owned properties. Um, they, evidently, they haven't been sprayed for a few years and uh, looking a little bit weedy. So, so um, I talked to Dan about maybe getting a list, but he doesn't have a comprehensive list of the county properties, I guess. So I'll see what I can come up, maybe Nancy can help with that or something. I don't, I'm not sure, but um, you know, we have quite a few of them and it'd be nice to get a get a little clean up there. So, so that's on the radar. Well, thank you. Yeah, my Appreciate pleasure. You. Welcome back. Richard, what's happening in your part of the world? Uh, going pretty good at the transfer station. Um, we get her working through a couple more vacations um, but we did hire somebody, so once we get him up to speed and everybody back off vacation, we will be fully staffed again, so that'll be nice. Um, yeah, other than that, things are going good. Um, the Murray site, I think, needs to be brought up again. Um, the volumes that are coming out of there have easily doubled, if not more. There's no way that's all residential. Um, and then also the... Um, every time we bring it, bring a bin down, they're broken. Like this morning, I went up and got one, two doors are ripped off of it, you know, so we've got to, we got to figure something out. You know, this is, it's costing us way too much. Let's go so, and put this on the, let's put this on the calendar for next week. Talk about the marine site and then we'll come in and discuss what we need to do. And because as it is right now, when Rich calls me tomorrow, tells me another bin is full, which he will, I don't have one to bring up to him. Okay. So, hmm. you have any good news? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're fully staffed again. We're fully staffed. <laughs> that is that is good news. Okay. And you 
your suggestion we should put this on the agenda for next week? Yeah, let's do that. For the for the Murray dump site problem. We need to go help get a hold of Jessica and uh, get her involved too. Okay, Heather, did you take note of that? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Anything from your side of Solways? Just paperwork rolling in for certifications for the next fiscal year. Paperwork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we have people who are gifted in that area. It's time consuming sometimes. Yeah. Especially when you get a stack like that big and you have to go through it all. It's like. Mm -hmm. No. You just put some music on and you just start going, working through it. <laughs> well, anything's possible with good music. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for being here today. Thank you. Grant Queen, what do you got? You got lots? All kinds of things moving around, you know, paperwork and reports and um, just keeping up with things. So I guess the first thing is I had sent out uh, last week, I believe, to all the department heads what's left over in the LATCF. So there was money moved out of the FY24 into LATCF to offset those budgets. And it's typically capital. Um, I've heard from several, but anybody that hasn't seen that or doesn't know what that is, get on me and we'll work through those. So you can start using that for things you need for this year. It's, it's for the fiscal 24 budget. Um, so you know, we'll, we'll get that figured out with you. Um, I attended the in the Northwest Partners meeting, great, those are always great, and was able to take home some great contacts and information, so we've got some other other avenues I'm going to start pursuing for some of the shortages that we're going to find in the bus, um, the bus match now that area on aging isn't contributing, um, and start some conversations with ITDs, our regional ITD guys, for how do we, how do we help fix some of those problems. Um, went to the SEDS, which is our Panhandle Area Council. They do a regional development plan. Um, so Comprehensive Economic Development Strategy is what SEDS stands for. That's kind of a component to certain types of funding, like the um, EDA, the Economic Development Association, federal funding. If we have those in place, it's, it's a good thing to do. So we're able to put our voice into it and say this is what needs to happen in our little bitty, you know, outside the great state of Coeur d'Alene, um, how this works in our small towns. Um, we have four grants that are open right now. Um, well, we have more than that before they're kind of active. So we've started some of the work on the, um, evaluating the North Fork. We've done uh, some surveying and now they're getting ready to, uh, Jim's out there doing some, some additional work on the engineering part of that. The RCIS with the um, gold chest mine they, Avista has started. They've sent me some great pictures. We've done a report to Commerce and they've been able to do a state report on that. So they're very happy with how that's moving forward. Um, the windows went through Office of Energy. <laughs> Boy, that's been a lot of work. So yeah. they wanted me to go through and take a picture inside and outside of every window and every door. I said, well, I'm not going to get the outside of every <laughs> window. So we came to some concessions that I'll do a, uh, you know, a good sampling of every floor inside and I'll take outside pictures. So got all that put in, which is part of the evaluation that has to go through SHPO, um, the State Historic Preservation. So that's that's why we had to do it, is they're looking at what does it look like before, what's it after, are we disturbing, you know, that kind of thing. So, Did you already take the pictures? Yeah, they're okay. done. Yep, done and sent in. So now I just have to hear back that, yep, go ahead and go with it. Um, the diversion grant is we hit our, we hit our one year in June. And that's going really well. We have had four participants go through it that were specific to the diversion program and 13 that were part of the group that came in through misdemeanor. Um, we've had people graduating from misdemeanor. They're doing really well. The, the six month reads, so we've actually just been accepting, uh, because Jen started in January, accepting people into the program since then. So six months report. and. Great success. I mean, it's really going well. The the people that have been going through it have been supporting each other, keeping each other sober, uh, doing the things they're supposed to, and then the, the in um, like three months, six months, different parts of the program we get um, sheets back from them, some surveys, and the the stuff that's coming back is I mean words like life changing, couldn't do it without it. It's been absolutely amazing and so phenomenal to see that we now have a resource here that can help at least some. And we're working on how do we open this up in, in other avenues. So that's kind of the continuing planning with keeping Jen 
serving our community in her capacity as a licensed social worker. Um, Carol, I have, so in doing the North Fork stuff, I got a listing from Jerry that he printed out all of, I mean, it's parcels. I, I will share what I have because I took all the parcels and I went GIS stocking oh, great. and got a lot of those done. But Jerry can print those out and then you can go onto the GIS and, and figure out which. But I will share that spreadsheet that I did so you don't have to put in the time for it. Great, thank you. And then on the dumpsters, I don't know if that, that'll be a conversation. If you want me to come, I can on using the SLFRF to build additional dumpsters if that's what we need to do to keep you guys up on it and see where, where we go from that. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea to show up to the next, this next meeting. Okay. Yeah, these guys are going to keep being so rough on their equipment. I need Shelby off my party to go knock it off. I need a club. We'll get you a cattle product. It sounds like you got to be up there at the Murray site and have Dave set it. It's not the people are the ones that are being rough on it. Yep. Well, you have to think about it. There's nobody up there to monitor if they have a sticker or not. Yeah. Find a good place to put a trail cam. We tried, but there's just not a good just spot as a problem. <laughs> gotcha. That's all. So, is that that's all? Just those fourteen items? I know. <laughs> I know. We we appreciate you trying to keep up with your fifty-two items, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> so with fire mitigation, we started. Uh, Miller's Way project a month ago. Uh, the contractor's got I think, probably around 10 acres done already. So it's going pretty good. Um, they'll be there until the snow gets too deep on the work and then probably finish it in the spring. But um, other things that are coming up um, the community wildfire protection plan. Um, hopefully, I will have it out to everybody to review by Friday, and that'll come in the form of an email. If I don't get it out Friday, it'll be like Monday, Tuesday next week at the latest. The next round of grants is getting ready to come up, the Community Wildfire Defense Grants. And I've been going around to different departments and asking them you know, what we can do to help them because this grant could be fairly large and uh, so I've talked with Public Works um, I can't remember what else but I've talked to a couple of different departments and trying to get you know maybe some stuff in that grant proposal to help out the other functions um, as soon as that opens up, uh, Colleen and I, we're going to get together and we probably have a few others get to, in that circle with us to work on that proposal and see what we can do. Okay. Like, what's the parameters on that? How, how big of a grant can that be? It can be up to 10 million. Okay. I think we could think of some uses for $10 million. Yeah, there's some, since this comes directly from the Forest Service and we will be dealing, we won't have the state as a ideal, as a middle person. Um, they've got some rules and stuff that we can eat, what we can use it for and what we can't use it for. Is it fuels? It, it's fuel, some equipment, um, like I met with the regional guy here about a month and a half ago when he came over to do his field trip to inspect some of our projects we've been doing and he said equipment, um, he says chainsaws, um, you know, anything like that. Um, some other, some other equipment. He said is he's probably out on a fire right now, but he said he would send me a list of things we could put in there before 
the grant comes open and so we brainstorm a little more. Okay. Also, might want to, one of us might want to talk talk to you about maybe the airport. We've got some stuff out there that. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Appreciate it. Fire danger is going down a little bit today. It'll be down for a couple days, but when we head started again, yeah, it's gone. How many active fires are there? Man, I lost count because here north of I-90, there's, I think, two. One, the biggest one was eight acres. Okay. You get down on the Joe and down to Bluff Creek, which they're calling the Bluff Creek co Complex, which there was a bunch of fires fairly close together, so they just bunched them all together into the complex. And that's 375. Okay. And then there's still the single tree lightning strikes that are popping up, especially in the south. Hmm. Okay. Well, appreciate the update. Yeah. Jeff, anything from your side? No, not really. Just we got our budget workshop coming up tomorrow, so looks like we're going to be busy. Yeah. Yeah. So to reiterate, uh, tomorrow we're meeting, the commissioners meet with the clerk to get her budget presentations and then we'll be scheduling department meetings uh, afterwards uh, over the next week or two to try and, and get all the department after they've absorbed what the clerk has to say. So um, anything else you can think of? No. Okay. Heather, anything? Um, just one thing, if you guys want something to be added to the agenda, if you can get it to me by like Tuesday, then we'll make sure it gets added to the agenda and anything you want the commissioners to review, um, send it to me before Tuesday and I can get it to them so they have plenty of time to read it. Good idea. Okay. All right. Public comment. We'll go start on the left. Solid ways to give them an attaboy that uh, Eric Curtin seems to be working pretty well. It looks like uh, you got it under control and everything burned up. I, I would have had you, you've quit burning now or else. We're stockpiling what we can. Um, days like this, we should be burning. Today, I wasn't able to. But um, when when we hit, you know, the hundreds and the high winds, yeah. no, we don't burn. Yeah. It's just, it's it's not worth it to, no. <laughs> to spark something. Right. No, it looks like it's going good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Laura, anything? Okay. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody. Uh, if that's all you've got, yes. Oh, one more question. I'm going to be for everybody reaching out and asking for help. I've got a procurement manual that I'm developing that has the coolest little flow chart, but if then, so kind of help with those processes. I will be reaching out once I get this um, nailed down with codes and everything in it. Um, to have you guys send back any information that you have or changes, best practices that you have experienced in your departments so that we can have a, a good, comprehensive living procurement manual for people to refer to. Mm -hmm. going now, how about a worksheet? Do we have, do you think we can make this into more of a simple worksheet so they can check off, yes, I saw that did this, or no, oh, it's under that, go to... Mm -hmm. Maybe we can have, you know, I think those are a lot easier than. Yeah, yeah we can do whatever we need to. And okay. I think there's, I've got, I've got so many things running around. Um, I think there is a check sheet. The the flow chart is, you know, is it this kind of funding go here? So you can yeah. check them off going that way. And we can, we can make this into kind of a check sheet. Okay. And, um, because this one is each type, so there's you know there's the big, there's the small purchases, there's sole sourcing, so there's all the different kinds of procurement, and then it just kind of runs down that, so we can kind of create a back sheet that you can do that goes with it that says, okay, if you've done this, have you done this? Okay. And, yeah. And we'll enjoy your full manual too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll bet. Sure. We will. That's some fascinating <laughs> yeah, writing. <laughs> All right. It's, it's a dust catcher on the shelf, but it's there for reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we are adjourned for the day. All right. Shelby, I want to talk.